Welcome to the channel. In this video, we will see how we can set up Visual Studio Code for Python programming so that we can write and execute Python programs in VS Code easily. In order to continue with this video, first you need to download and install latest version of Python and you need to set the path environment variable. If you don't know about it, then I have already made a tutorial. The link will be available in the description box. You guys can check that out. And after that, you need to download and install latest version of Visual Studio Code. Again, I have made a tutorial and explained everything in detail. Link will be available in the description box. Now, after installing these two programs properly, you can continue with this video and you guys can set up the Visual Studio Code. So the first thing that we do is we will open up the Visual Studio Code. And once Visual Studio Code opens, first what we do is we will set up a workspace. So first we will click on file and we will click on save workspace as. Now you guys can save the workspace wherever you want. I will save it in the desktop and here we will right click and we will click on new and folder. And here I can give a name. I'm going to say tutorials. You guys can give any name for the folder. And after that, open up the folder. And here we can give a name for the workspace. I'm going to say Python workspace. And after that, click on save. And after that, we will click on file. We will click on add folder to workspace. We will go to desktop or the location where you have saved your workspace. We will open up the folder where workspace is present. Mine is in the tutorials folder. So I'm going to open it up. And here we will right click and we will click on new and folder. We need to give a name. I'm going to say Python programs. You guys can give any name. After that, select the folder and click on add. If it says, do you trust the authors of the files in this folder? Click on yes. And now we will click on this uh, explorer icon and we will expand this uh, window. So here we can find the workspace that we have created and also the folder that we have added. So now what we can do is we can create uh, files. So select the folder in my case, which is uh, Python programs. And after that, click on this icon, which says new file. And we need to give the name for the file. I'm going to say test dot py you guys can give any name but the file extension should be dot py that is for the files which contain python code after that we can hit the enter button or we can click outside it will create the file here the get started panel is open i'm going to close that now you guys can see we have this file called as test dot py now the next thing that we do is we will install some visual studio code extensions the first extension that we install is called as Python. In order to install that, we will click on the extensions and here we will search for Python and we will look for an extension called as Python developed by Microsoft. You will find a lot of extensions, but you need to install this particular extension developed by Microsoft and called as Python. Click on that. A new tab will be opened and you guys can find more details about that. Click on install. It will be installed. Just patiently wait for uh, the installation to finish. OK, now this uh, extension has been installed properly. We will uh, close this tab. Now, the next thing that we do is we install a tool called as PyLint. PyLint is a static code analyzer which goes through your code before running it. And uh, if your code doesn't follow the Python specifications, then it will highlight that and it will show you what you guys can do. And also it provides some other features. So we will install and this PyLint is available as a Python module. So we need to install that. In order to install it, we will click on the terminal. We will click on new terminal. And again, if you see a message, do you trust the authors of the files in this workspace? Click on trust workspace and continue. And here we can install the uh, PyLint. So we will type in pip install PyLint. And after that, hit the enter button. Now it will uh, download all the required files and it will install them. Here you guys can see it says successfully installed PyLint. 
version number is 2.15.9 version number will change depending on when you're watching this video now we have installed it now after installing this tool pylint we have to set up visual studio code so that it can work properly one thing is we can do that setup manually or what we can do is we can install a visual studio code extension so we will install the extension we will click on the extensions here and we will search for an extension called as pylint now don't get confused with the visual studio code extension pylint and the python module pylint that we have installed now here if i click on this pylint uh, visual studio code extension it will be opened in a new tab and we can find more information so this visual studio code extension pylint what it does is if the pylint python module is not installed in the computer then it will install that python module and after that it will set up the visual studio code for pylint to work properly if the pylint python module is already installed in the computer then this visual studio code pylint extension will not install pylint but it will do all the setup part so here the reason why i installed python pylint module separately is when we do that sometimes we get slightly latest version for example if we look at the installation that i have done for the python module pylint you guys can see installed version is 2.15.9 but instead of doing this installation manually if we just install this python visual studio code extension it will install pylint if it is not installed in the system but look at the version that is 2.15.5 so we get slightly older version so that's why i just installed them separately so now what we do is we will install this pylint visual studio code extension by clicking on this install we will wait for the installation to finish it is done after that we can close this now what we can do is we can write a simple python program and uh, we can find ways to run that so here first what we do is we will uh, write the documentation about you know what we are writing in this uh, python file so we can do that by writing codes three times and we will say simple test python program and after that in this program we will ask the user to enter his name and then we will display hello and the name of the user so we will use the input function and here we will say enter your name and the return value we will store that in a variable called as name and after that we can print that so we will use the print function first we will display hello and after that we will display name okay after that what we do is we go to file and we will save the program one more thing that we can do is we can click on file and we can click on this auto save which will automatically save the file when we make modifications so click on that if you again click on file and you come back you guys can see that this auto save option is checked it means it will automatically save the file now after this what we can do is we can try to run this in order to run this python uh, program uh, what we can do is we can right click on the editor and we can find an option called as run python file in terminal if you click on that this file will be run in the terminal so we can see here enter your name i'm gonna say anil if i hit the enter button it says hello anil so this is one way to run this uh, python program another method is if you go to the top right corner then we can see an icon like this if i take the cursor it says run python file if you click on that again the python file will be run in the terminal so here i can enter my name anil and if i hit the enter button again it says hello anil so these are two methods to run the python file now one more thing that we're gonna do in this particular video is we will install a code formatter you know when we write more lines of code if we have a program which automatically format our code for us then it will be really helpful so i generally use a code formatter 
uh, called as black for Python. So we will see how we can install that. In order to install the black Python code formatter, we will click on terminal. We will click on new terminal. And here we will type in pip install black. And after that, we will hit the enter button. It will uh, download and install this particular module. And after that, we will uh, click on file and we go to preferences and we will click on settings. And here first we will search for format on save. We can see text editor formatting format on save. We will check this option like that. And after that, we will search for Python formatting provider. And here we can see Python formatting provider. If you click on this drop down, we can see black. Just uh, select that. Now we can close this settings. So now what we have done is we have uh, uh, set up Visual Studio code with the minimal extensions to write and execute Python programs. Of course, if you want, you guys can install some other extensions that are available and you guys can set up the Visual Studio code. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. If you want to say something, then write that in the comment box. For more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel.